At Scouts, I'll often ask you to tie a clove hitch around around a spar with a with a rope. We often use clove hitches for starting lashings and things like that. It's a very simple knot, but often people do it incorrectly. So to do a clove hitch, you go around. Once you get around, sort of where three quarters of the way around, then you cross over. Then you need to take the end and we have to cross it over the, the main part of the rope. And we keep going around on the same, same side. We don't go back down here. We have to keep on the same side of the rope and we go under the piece where we crossed over. So it's a very simple knot. What do people get wrong? Some people will do this. and try and do something in, oh, I can't even do it myself. Do something in there. Now I've got something that looks a bit like a clove hitch, but it isn't. Often people do this. Now, we've actually tied a clove hitch. But we've got this extra bit of rope here. So if we pull on this rope, the spar is like, likely to turn and twist and we'll, it'll become loose. Because we'll get all this extra bit of line. So, the correct way to do a clove hitch, going around, we cross over, we keep on going around. Because we've crossed over, we're still, still staying on the high side and we go under the bit where we crossed over. We could also do this the other way around, so that, that was going up. Let's do one going down, going around. On the high side, we we'll cross over to the low side. Keep on going around on the low side and under the bit where we crossed over. That's a clove hitch.